Eight notorious pirates from history sailing from the Barbary coast in North Africa, the Barbarossa brothers Erich and Heiser, also known as Redbeard in Italian, made their fortune by capturing European ships in the Mediterranean Sea. Their early targets included two papal galleys and a Sardinian warship, but they shifted their focus to the Spanish after Erich lost his arm in battle against them. By 1516, the Ottoman Sultan had placed Erich in charge of the entire Barbary coast. After Erich's death, Heiser, also known as Kara Din, took over and spent the rest of his life fighting against various Christian enemies, including a fleet formed by the Pope to destroy him. One of the most famous pirates in history is Francis Drake, who was given the nickname My Pirate by Queen Elizabeth I. He was part of a group of privateers known as the Sea Dogs who were authorized by the English government to attack Spanish ships. In 1577, Drake embarked on a voyage that would make him the first English captain to sail around the world. During this journey, he faced many challenges, including losing four out of five of his boats, dealing with a mutiny, and capturing a Spanish ship filled with treasure. When he returned, Queen Elizabeth was so pleased with his success that she knighted him. Eight years later, Drake played a key role in defeating the Spanish Armada. Lalanes was a famous pirate who roamed the Caribbean in the 1600s. Also known as Jean David now, he started raiding Spanish ships and settlements and gained a reputation for being extremely cruel. According to the pirate historian Alexander Exquemelin, Lalanes would torture his victims in gruesome ways. However, his luck ran out in 1668 when he was captured and eaten by cannibals. One of the most famous pirates from history is Henry Morgan. He was known for his brutal raids, such as locking the inhabitants of Porto Principe, Cuba, inside a church so that his men could plunder the town. He also captured Portobello, Panama, by using priests, women, and the mayor as a human shield. Despite being briefly arrested in 1672, he ended up serving as acting governor of Jamaica and even assisted in pirate prosecution. Captain William Kidd, once a respected privateer, turned into a pirate himself after being assigned to hunt down pirates in the Indian Ocean. He captured ships and even killed one of his own crew members. His crew abandoned him, leaving him with only a few men, and he had to bury his treasure on Gardiner's Island before being arrested by the British East India Company. Kidd was tried, found guilty, and executed. His body was left to decay on the banks of the River Thames as a warning to other pirates. Edward Teach, also known as Blackbeard, was a fearsome pirate who used to put smoking fuses in his long beard and carry multiple weapons. In 1717, he took over a French slave ship and armed it with 40 guns, renaming it Queen Anne's Revenge. He then blockaded the port of Charleston, South Carolina, until the residents gave him a large chest of medicine. After hiding out in North Carolina for a while, Blackbeard was killed in a battle with the British Navy. According to legend, he was stabbed 20 times and shot 5 times before he died. The golden age of piracy, in which Blackbeard played a major role, only lasted a few more years. However, the romanticized version of that era has been immortalized in countless books, plays, and movies like Treasure Island and Pirates of the Caribbean. Calico Jack, also known as John Ratcam, got a pardon for his pirate activities in 1719, but he went back to the sea in 1720 after taking a 12-gun sloop from Nassau Harbor in the Bahamas. He had a crew of about 12 people, including two women, and Bonnie and Mary Reed, who were some of the only female pirates in the Caribbean. When a pirate hunting boat caught up with them in October 1720, only Bonnie, Reed, and maybe one man fought back. Ratcam was executed the next month, but Bonnie and Red escaped hanging because they were both pregnant. Reed died in prison, and no one knows what happened to Bonnie.